Okay, so we're just gonna start with air squats. So however it's comfortable for you, go ahead and coming down into air squats. Good. Nice day today, not too sunny. But nice and cool. I love this type of weather to work out in. Okay, so if you wanna add more intensity in your squats, you can put your hands behind your head. If you want to make it easier, just don't go as low. So you just go a little bit smaller on the squat. All right. Keep going. You could do any of these workouts with bare feet, too. I, I always like barefoot training. Um, just outside, it's kind of hard with the uneven surface. But that's an option if you want to challenge yourself a little more as well. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, just tapping side to side, and then adding a little twist with the upper body. So you're just going to really twist out that upper body. We're going to do a lot of upper body work, so let's get that warmed up. Now this is a little different than my other hit workouts. This one we're going to do a shorter cardio, so you really want to push yourself. And then the second portion is a longer strength training section as you're, as you're recovering. So it's great because you're doing a recovery as well as strength training. And it's a little longer, so you don't have to go super fast. All right, nice and wide. We're going to do big circles, wide leg squat, and we'll just come down. So you're going to come down, come down, big open arms coming down. Good. Come back. Get those hips warmed up, the shoulders. We're going to do a lot of shoulder. Forward. I'm going to stay still for this one. Three, you've got it. Open, open. And then we're going to go ahead. And if you have something to hold on to, I recommend it. I'm just going to do leg swings, but if you can do it with balance, that's okay. It's a little harder without something to hold on to. Ooh. As you can see, keep your eyes at a point in front of you to help you balance. These are really good for range of motion, so I try to do them every time. Other side, get that balance. And again, if you want to try it without holding on, get that little balance work in there. Better on this side today. Good. All right. All right. So we're going to get ready for squat jump. So five seconds. Find a spot. You can stay on your mat, on your floor, whatever you want. We're going to go right into it. All right. Modification, regular squat. So modification, otherwise you're gonna come up. All right, regular squats like we did in the warm up. If you're modifying, if you're a beginner, you got it. You got it, keep going. You wanna push yourself. Now again, if you're more advanced, you get a little lower. You get a little higher on that jump. You got it, you got it. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, we're going to grab our weights, try to go a little heavier. We're going to do a renegade row. So again, if you're new, keep it light. So we're going to set up with our weights on our mat. If you're not familiar with a renegade row, it's like a plank with a row. All right. Go ahead, pull it back, Just alternating. So modified on the knee. Keep your neck long, looking out the edge of your mat. Keep it going. Again, come down to the knees if you need to. Keep it working. Again, I'm trying to go a little heavier, so <laughs> sometimes I might have to take a break. If you're using lighter weights, it might be a little bit easier. Keep going. Keep going. Good. What? Nice job. Okay. So, quick little short break, and then we are going to our next cardio, which you're going to need a uh, one heavier or whatever weight you have or a kettlebell for this. 
All right. Grab your kettlebell or weight. All right. Now, as quickly as you can. If you have a weight, just holding it at the end of your weight, swinging it out in front. If you want to add a little more challenge, do single arm. You can alternate. Try to pick up that pace. Okay? Keep it going. Don't stop. Good. I'm going to keep going past the bell. Two more. I started a little late. One. Nice. Okay. That's the only time you need the kettlebell. Now, bent over rows. Take your heavier weight. Here we go. So it looks like this. Or like this. I'll turn this way. And we're nice and low. Rowing back. Squeeze it back. Good. Nice long neck. Draw the abs in. Every time you pull back, you are exhaling. Now, if you need to modify, you can put one leg in front. It's a little easier. You don't have the core strength yet. We're going to build up to it. Keep it going. Good. Come on. These are tough because we're doing a high rep set. Okay? So it doesn't have to be super heavy. Whew. I'll have to count later, but probably about 20 reps. So this is a like a sculpting, toning set. Keep going. Breathe. Ten seconds left. Try to push through. It should be getting hard. Then we'll get a little break. Two. One. Good. Now. Next. Whew, we're gonna do our lunge jumps. So those are just lunge jumps like this. To modify single lunges back. All right? Get ready. Here we go. These require a little bit of balance, a little bit of core. Push yourself. Get nice and low if you can. And again, modified single lunges back, alternating. Keep it going. Come on. Push through. You've got it. Come on. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Okay. Now I'll get my water. <laughs> okay. Now, next one. Woo, squat to press. Grab your weights. Here we go. Now I'm going to go nice and slow on these because I have a whole minute to work on these. Stepping back a little bit. Now, from the side view, squat. Keep those shoulders right about at your knees. Controlled. Not super fast. It's a nice quick workout, but it should be hard. It shouldn't be too easy for you. If you're more advanced, you have to go a little heavier on these. Or if you have lighter weights, you don't have them at home, you could pick up the pace on this one. All right, for those of you who are more advanced, but don't have the heavier set, go ahead and maybe double time this pace. Five. You got it. Nice. Okay. Now, mountain climbers next. So to modify a mountain climber, put your hands up on a ottoman or a, something higher up or just do it a little bit slower okay here we go now i want you to try to pick up that pace got it. if you can slow motion if you're modifying or up onto a bench or step or ottoman keep it going come on push through you got it only 15 seconds go a little faster keep those hips down Come on. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Nice. Okay. Now, grab your heavier weights again. Deadlift to upright row. Most important thing, keep your back straight. Okay? So, from the side view, tiny bend in the knee. Come all the way down to your ankles. Squeeze the butt at the top. Just like this in the front. Squeeze at the top. All right. No rush. I like you to go down a little slower 
and then pop up a little faster at the end. Inhale, exhale. Push it down. You got it. Go as heavy as you can on this one. And again, you can go a little faster if you don't have any weight. Keep going. Push through. Let's go. We have a little bit of time left. So if you need to slow down, you can. Now, if it's bothering your back, don't go as low. You can stop right there to start. Get used to it. If you have a little bit of a weaker core, that's okay. You're building up. It's day one if you're doing my challenge. Then don't go as low. Use lighter weights. One more. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Now, next thing are our surfer pop-ups. Kind of like burpees. You're going to jump back, jump into the right side, pop-up, no push-up. Modified, you're just going to run it out. Okay? So I'll show one modified. Back two to the right. Lift up on the toes. Okay? Other way. Jump, jump. Pick up that pace if you're only doing 30 seconds. Jump to the right, to the left. To the right, to the left. Come on. You got it. A little bit of a wider leg position. Come on. One more. Let's get you started. Nice. Okay. Now, next one reverse squat. You can go a little later on this if you have a variety of weights. Um, I'm going to stick with my 12s. But if you're new, you know, 8s, 5s, even 3s are fine. Okay? So you're coming down, squeezing the back muscle. Kind of pulling my elbows toward each other. Good. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Come on. Now bent over here. If it bothers you again, you put one leg in front. It's a little bit easier. This is a little bit heavy for me. Not too bad, but not easy. Keep going. Again, you can pick up that pace if you're using light weights. Come on. You're so close to the end. Push. Less than 10 seconds left. One more. Nice. Okay, so next, we're going to do a nice wide squat into kind of a tap down. Modified looks like this. Tap, tap. Okay? Or just stay center. Here we go. Woo. I'm going to bring my, my arms high up at the top. Something different. A little more cardio. Push through. Come on. What's your goal for June? Mine is increase my cardio, my endurance. I've been doing lots of weights, yoga, and then I want a little more flexibility. How about you? Keep going. Woo! Nice. All right. Yeah. Circle arms. You're going to go a little lighter on these. So grab your weights. All right. Take breaks if you need them. <laughs> and you can always come back to a fly with a bent elbow if you need to. All right, palms forward. You're going to make a circle. The more bent your arms are, the easier it's going to be. Drawing a circle. Smile. <laughs> Smiley face. Keep going. These are tough. Great for the shoulders and back. So again, today's focus is mostly shoulders, back, core, and biceps with cardio. But... When we do our next, oh, can't breathe. <laughs> when we do our next um, upper body day, we'll focus a more, little more on chest triceps, I guess. So I mix it up, but try to have a little focus. Split it up. Whew. Good. Almost there. Again, if you're going lighter, you're going a little faster. One more. Woo! Those are tough. Burned out at the end there. Okay, we only have four things left. So, burpee with a side knee, so the side outside knee. I'll show the modification. 
All right, so we're gonna come down, out, in, in. Now, if you're modifying, you're just walking in, and you don't have to jump, okay? One, pick up that pace though. If you're jumping, and you're working with me. Go higher, intensity. Outside knee, kind of like a Spider-Man. You got it, come on. I might do an extra one this time. I was giving you guys a little lesson there, but keep going. One more, push, push, and pop. Nice. Three left. Okay. Learn any weights. Take side plank to alternating elbow. And to modify, we're going to come onto the knees. Okay? You can start full plank, but just if you want to do modified, you can also do it. That. Otherwise, come with me. Here we go. Up. Try to really pull that hip up towards the sky. Wherever you are, you're inside the ceiling. You got it. Push. Maybe you want to pick up that pace a little bit, but holding it actually is a little bit more challenging. You got it. Maybe you're more advanced. You can lift the leg on the side here. You can lift if you want it. Good. All right. Keep going wherever you are. Pull the modifying. Adding that extra option. It's a long one. Nice. One more just to get the last that shot. All right. We're almost done. Okay. Stay on the ground. I'm gonna use my eight. Um, or do V-ups. If you can't do V-ups, do a regular crunch. Okay, lie down. So V-ups, like this. So, you wanna do a regular crunch, no weight. Just crunch it up, okay? Keep going. Push that up. Put your knees together to make it harder. Even more challenging, straighten out those legs. A little uneven surface here, so I'm like rolling down the hill. Keep it going. Do two more. All right. Now, this is amazing. We're basically done. Grab your medium or lighter set of weights, and we're going to do our bicep curl. That's it. All right. I'll do a couple different things. Start with hammer curls. Push it with me. Here. Can you believe that was it? That went by so fast. Nice. Good job. Breathe. Okay, now we're going to go from the side here, come halfway up. Halfway up. Halfway up. And then out to the side. Halfway up. And then if you're staying back to the middle, but you're starting like this, you're going to come. Like this, to the top. Five. Seven. And then last set of hammer curls here. Push through. Woo. And all we have to do now is stretch it out. We're done. Now, if you're more advanced, three, two more. Two. One more. Woo. All right. Give yourself a hand. Nice job. So if you're more advanced, let me just turn this off. All right, um, after this, you can do a whole other set of the strength training. So you can go back to the video and instead of doing the cardio section, you can just take a little 30 second break and then try to pick up your, your weight for the strength training portion. So there's eight strength training exercises and you can even do that two more times through. So if I have time, I might make just a little quick video for just that. But let's get down to our stretch. We're gonna go nice and wide. Go ahead and relax down. We're gonna start to sway. If you need back support, you can go here. Keep your head a little up if your heart rate's up. And then we're gonna go ahead and tip it over to one side. Push down, all the way down. You're kind of pushing into the side here. And then pulling to the opposite. Three, three, and then side. Good, I wanna make sure we get a good upper body stretch though, because that's what our focus was today. Roll it up. Take a breath in. 
palms up. Reach. Feel that stretch. All right. Let's bring it back. Open. A nice chest open. If you have a doorway you can walk through, it's a good time to kind of push through that doorway. Really open. Pull your hands behind you. Let's open. Breathe. Look up a little. Okay, now we're going to bring the arm across. Really get into your shoulder. So drop it down. Push across. Breathe into it. Good. So again, if you want to do this set through one more time for, for strength only, take out the cardio, start um, the video again, squat drops you can do to warm up, and then starting with renegade rows, you're going to go ahead, bring your arm up, you're going to go ahead and do renegade rows, bent over rows, squat to press, deadlift to upright row, reverse flies, circle arm, key to the side plank, and the bicep curl. And if you want to take out the side planks, but I, I like those. Some kind of oblique work is great. Um, and then in between, when we're doing that jumping stuff, you can do just to tap it out, take a break. And you can do that two more sets of time through with a little bit heavier weight if you can handle it. And you'll get an amazing upper body workout for the rest of your day. So that would probably take you, mm, I guess it'll take you another 20 minutes. All right. Not my chest, but this is 20 minutes. Okay. So um, go ahead and come down to the floor for just a moment. Down, legs out. We'll take a breath overhead and then just stretch it down towards those ankles or toes, wherever you reach. Breathe into it. Now, watch your lower back, draw the abs in, stretch a little bit of the upper body, and then pull down. You get a nice long line through your spine. Breathe. Good. And then we'll come into a cobbler stretch here. Down and down. Forward. Good. And we'll come out. Bring it across. All the way down. If anyone has any requests, please feel free to message me. Facebook, Facebook Messenger, whatever. And um, request I do yoga, yoga lattes, um, hit workouts. And also, I'll also be doing some strength workouts too, just to get strength for um, leg day and the upper body day that we do without any weight. Without any cardio, sorry. All right, and then put your feet back together comfortably here. We're going to kind of hug and then pull those elbows down. Get into those shoulders, relax your shoulders down, drop your head to one side, drop your head to the other side. This one's coming out, switch the arms, so you have the other one. Drop your head down, other side, release those shoulders, little roll back, two, forward, two, three, all right, take it out, nice job everybody, take an inhale, exhale, and one more, take a deep breath in, exhale, all right, thank you, have a great rest of your day.